To help demonstrate some of the new features of Notebook 11, I created a small notebook file and I'm going to apply some of these features so you can get a better idea of how they can be used. The first thing I'm going to do is use the Activity Builder add-on. So there is a new add-on tab in Notebook and it looks like a little puzzle piece and uh, I'm assuming eventually they'll have a number of different add-ons that are available but the add-on we're going to use is called the Activity Builder. So what we need to do is we need to select an object that's going to be used for our activity and what I want to do is have the incorrect answers bounce back to the original location, in this case Stockholm and Helsinki, and have the correct answer spin after it's dragged into the box. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now that I have my selected object, I'm going to click Edit. And notice that now has uh, lines appearing around it, so I know I'm working and creating activity with that object. The correct answer is Amsterdam right here. So what I can do is I can click and drag that object and just put in that window. The other objects are going to be the incorrect answer, so Stockholm and Helsinki. So I'm going to click and drag those into the Reject These Objects window. Now I go to my Settings tab and I have some other features or some other settings I can apply. When the uh, correct answer is dragged into the selected object, I'm going to have it spin. I can also have it play a sound, which we will do in just a second. On the incorrect answers, I'm just going to have them bounce back to its original location. So now I click Done, and we're all set to go. So now let's go ahead and try one of the incorrect answers. I touch and drag and move Stockholm into the box, and it just comes back to its original location. The correct answer, Amsterdam, when I drag it over the box, it spins around and stays in the correct location. I'm going to add one more feedback mechanism in here where I'm going to apply audio reinforcement or audio feedback. So on Stockholm and Helsinki, I've already applied an audio or attached an audio file that just that just beeps when they're touched. What I'm going to do is when they're dragged in, not only will it bounce back, but it'll also play the audio feedback that's attached to that object. The only thing now I have to do is add an audio feedback to the correct answer, Amsterdam. So I'm going to do that manually. So the first thing I do is I select the object, click on the drop down options button, select sound, and I'm going to click on the microphone icon. This is all new in the new version of Notebook. And I'm going to click Recording and just give my best SpongeBob positive reinforcement. So here I go. Start recording. Great job. Stop recording. I'm going to, I can preview it. Let's hear it. Great job. Yeah, okay, that's okay. I'm going to attach it to the entire object. And I'm going to uh, just click Attach Recording. Now I'm ready to go, but I need to edit my activity builder to tell it to apply the sounds that are attached. So I select my activity, the selected object. I'm going to edit this activity and I'm going to go to settings. And now I'm just going to click on the option also play the object sound and click done. So now I have a double reinforcement when I go ahead and drag in the objects. So let's go ahead and drag in Stockholm. Drag it, let go. It bounces back and plays the attached audio feedback. Let's try Amsterdam and listen to my SpongeBob reinforcement. I touch and drag into the activity object. It spins and gives the audio feedback. Fantastic. 